students is i want to uh, say you that uh, like you are participating in the idea competition in our college every year we conduct a idea competition once in a year and uh, those uh, who are winners they get some prizes prize money but uh, we are shortlisting uh, some of the teams even if you are not the winner some of the teams will be shortlisted and they will get a chance to participate in the national level idea competition organized by ministry of education and it is a national level competition uh, so uh, it has got uh, some weightage if, if you um, uh, get the prize or uh, if you even if only you participate in the competition uh, that will be uh advantage to you even you can write that in the resume also and uh, you are going to get more importance is that you are going to get some experience of uh, participating in the competition preparing a product or uh, presenting your idea uh, so that will be useful to you and for that we have organized a series of lectures in this week and uh, this today's topic is very much important because it is a uh, business model canvas which we should always refer when we are selecting the topic and deciding about the idea to implement uh, so today kranti madam is going to uh, give you some idea about business model canvas yeah. should i start now yes sir okay very good afternoon to all uh, so today i'll be explaining to you all what is a business model canvas now basically when we go to define what is a business model canvas it is a very important part when you are going to develop your product like for example you have decided you are going to develop a product and you are going to launch that product in the market so this is one among the very important phase now what is a business model canvas it is basically a plan for a successful operation of a business you could also call it as a startup identifying the sources of revenue target customer base products details of financing okay now don't get confused these all terms will be explained to you all in detail with different case studies now basically a business model canvas it is just like a paper on which you are going to jot down certain parameters nine components now those nine components are being defined as value proposition is one part it is just like a chart you will divide this chart into nine sections it will be value proposition then customer segments channels customer relationship revenue cost structure then you will have key activities key resources key partners now actually they are numbered in the order the first one is the value proposition now what do you understand by value proposition now value proposition is basically the one in which you are trying to get a solution to the customer now suppose you have decided to develop a particular product for a customer so what sort of solution you are going to give to that customer now when you are defining your value proposition you have to mention the following parameters what is new about your product how it is different from the existing product suppose it is totally an innovative product it is fine but if you are a uh, i'm audible na no? now i can hear you you could not hear me before ma'am ah uh, initially uh, in the beginning for previous slide this slide you call you, everyone can hear me yeah this part was open and today yes. we had lost is it okay now yeah ma'am we can yeah now it. yeah start so, from the second slide this slide ma'am uh yeah initially we could hear initially we could hear you in this slide but at the end for some time okay okay so i was discussing just about the nine components of this business model uh, what has been listed down here in detail each section will be explained to you all so you all could just okay. think that now after this session of mine you should take a chart paper and divide your chart into these nine sections and define it with respect to your product so at the end of the session i expect that people will be able to do this 
So let me take one by one. The first one is the value proposition. You are trying to get a solution to your customer. Okay. So any product you are developing, it could be you are getting an innovation into an existing product. Suppose one existing product is there already in the market, like a washing machine, but you are getting some innovation into that product. Okay. Or you are developing totally an innovative project product which has never come into the market before. Okay. So all these parameters you are supposed to explain in your value proposition what is the performance it will be giving you what what how whether you are you'll be able to customize it the design in some parts actually customer is not more concerned about the design he is more concerned about what solution you are providing to him how he is going to use it okay then about the brand and status it will have price cost reduction you will be comparing cost reduction means you will be comparing it with the existing product how cheap is your product or how how much money you will be saving if you buy your product okay now the next section is the customer segment now you have to define in that chart, chart paper who is going to be your customer okay whom you are targeting a simple example if you take a newspaper for a newspaper who is your customer your customer is your advertiser and the reader okay so these two are your customers okay then we'll be taking with case of uber uber is a startup which has come up so uber has defined its customers first so who are the customers for uber customers for uber are the drivers who are going to get employment and the riders who are going to get a ride in the uber okay these are your two customers so this section is very very important you should have a clarity when you are defining your product you should be clear for whom are you developing this product for okay next it is the channel now when you are decided to de uh, develop your product how you are going to reach to the customer what are the different sources you will be making that customer aware that this product is available in the market now there are different channels which you can go for and nowadays it has become very easy social media is one among the most popular channel through which you could reach your customer it is like you are publicizing your product on the social media okay you could have uh, ads on youtube you could have it on mobiles you could have it on tv etc okay at the same time channel can be also considered as a physical channel these are all digital medias you could also consider it as a physical channel by considering like how exactly you are going to deliver this product to the customer okay which mode of transport you will use to deliver this product to the customer that also could be considered as a channel whether it is going to be an online delivery type of mode or whether it is going to be directly from shop to the customer all these modes you have to decide now next is customer relationship this is also a very very important part of your business model canvas because if you fail in customer relationship your product will fail in the market okay it is like there are three parameters always you have to remember for customer relationship get keep and grow get means you have supposed to get the customers you have to draw the attention of the customer to buy your product so your customer should get convinced why he should buy your product okay next if you have got the customer now he has already purchased your product you should be able to retain that customer in future also for example there are certain products which are not one time products like washing machine if you buy you might normally buy a washing machine and use it for 10 to 12 years okay but there are some products which you need to replace after few years okay so in that cases you should be able to keep that customer with you on hold like for example samsung has developed a particular product next time when you are buying a new washing machine also you should be choosing samsung as your person who is going to be the one who is going to give you the product okay you should not switch over to some other a uh, company like from samsung you will go to lg there are reasons for this why the customer switches from one company to other company okay so once you have got the pro product you should also be able to retain that pro customer uh, once you have got the customer you should also be able to retain that customer and grow with your customer grow means now for example you have added new features into your product you should be able to keep getting more and more customers 
okay initially suppose you have got 50 customers you should be next next time you should be able to build it to 100 customers then 1000 10000 and go on okay this can happen if you are adding more and more innovation into your product once you have developed your product and if you have just forgotten you will not sustain in the market innovation has to keep coming into your product okay so you have to have actually a complete walk through the entire customer journey in detail okay in this particular customer relationship so one part how you can retain your customer relationship is you can take feedbacks regular feedbacks you can have chatbots okay you can have chatbots for example amazon is having chatbot so con continuous interaction with the customer can happen through that you can have feedbacks then uh, another thing is uh, like in case of amazon and all uh, if the amazon wants to have a better customer relationship okay he tries to uh, one part is the ch chatbot and secondly is amazon is continuously tracking the customers actions okay and uh, that they have automated with its ai based mechanism where they are trying to see what the customer is liking more okay so that is the way you can try and keep attracting your customers and keep uh, giving messages to the customer about your product saying that these are the innovative features and you can buy and so on okay next is the revenue stream now when we are talking about the revenue stream you have to decide how you are going to get revenue into your product okay so uh, there are different ways like uh, you can have revenues for the product like you can have a direct sales or you can have like a licensing scheme and then uh, you can have subscriptions and so on okay you can give different different offers by which your revenue is going to grow okay like netflix netflix is offering various subscriptions okay so in that case you can have uh, different offers continuously popping out of your product and then that is how you can build your revenue okay next is the key resources now you have to decide what is going to be your key resources now when we are talking about the key resources key resources is normally a combination of these four parameters physical intellectual human and financial physical is now you have decided to develop a particular product you have to decide what is the physical resource you require maybe you would require a small workshop to develop your product you might have need a factory okay all different types of physical resources what you might require you might require machineries to develop your product and sec and so on one second now huh? someone is trying to join in next is intellectual intellectual is also a one part of a key resource where once you have developed totally an innovative product you should try to see that no one tries to copy your product so you have to file for an patent okay you can have a copyright patent you can brand your product okay next is human resources you might require human resources for actually manufacturing your product you might have to employ people how many people you want to employ all that factors parameters you have to decide what category of human resources you might require you might require skilled people you might require people with high technology knowledge you might require uh, laborers and so on next is financial now financial also you have to decide what is the amount of total cost going to get incurred into your product like you have to decide how you are going to raise your money whether you are going to have line of credit or whether you are going to for go for investors and so on next is your key partners now when you are deciding about key partners not necessary that you are going to be the whole and sole owner of your product you can get in key partners with your product so you can have joint ventures now simple example i will tell you about key partners is suppose it is a pizza making uh, factory okay a pizza making factory like in that case they are having partners with a person who is delivering cold drinks okay so anytime you are when you're going for a pizza you will obviously like to have a cold drink along with it so they actually try to have joint partnership with cold drink manufacturers you can have key partnership with the suppliers okay you can have the partnership with the suppliers now one thing is about google now google is actually having a partnership that is what i have come to know is it is having a partnership with the 
uh, equipment manufacturing companies like for example uh, they are having partnership with the mobile manufacturers okay now for the how they have partnered with the mobile manufacturers google supplies the os for those mobile phones okay so google is benefiting those manufacturers mobile manufacturers by giving the um, the operating o the os the android os to the manufacturers and in turn how the manufacturer manufacturers are benefiting google is basically for searching for their product for searching for that product like for example a company is there a mobile manufacturer who has developed a particular mobile phone you are using google's search engine to, search engine to search for that product so in a way both are getting benefited okay so this is one way how they have partnered now there are social gaming uh, companies which have partnered with facebook okay so both are getting benefited facebook also is getting benefited and the social ga gaming company is also getting benefited so this is how you can go about the partnership next is the key activities now key activity is the actual part which will involve the actual making of your product which will have the production scheme you might have an r and d department where you are going to have continuous innovation brought into your product then there is a supply chain management all the key activities which you will require for bringing out your product you have to decide in this particular block which is going to be the key activity block next and the last is the cost structure once you have decided all the other eight components you are going to decide about the cost structure like what is going to be your final cost of your product okay you are going to take different components into that now you will not only take the manufacturing cost you have to take the employees cost also you have to take how many people you have employed how much salary you are giving to that and all this total parameters this will be explained in detail with to you all how to make your financial planning by the next session will be which will be taken tomorrow okay so in short on one paper you are deciding all these parameters so now i'll be taking an uber example for you all okay which will consider all the parameters now these are the nine blocks how you have to divide your uh, chart into okay so the first one as i told you value proposition is the one first block which you are going to decide so when you are deciding about your value proposition you will be writing who are your customers now as i told you in uber your value customers a uh, value sorry value propositions are your drivers and your passengers how drivers will come as your customer uber is giving flexible working hours to the drivers okay it is also acting as a extra source of income to the drivers for example a person who is having a 9 to 5 job and in the evening time he can go and opt for driving at uber as a working as a driver at uber okay so it is acting as an extra income for that driver so these are the benefits you are providing to the driver for the pa passenger for the passenger you are offering different schemes you are able to pay with your bank card you don't need to carry cash you can have the different schemes like uh, gpay etc then ex and second part is low pricing okay low pricing is also one feature which uber offers if you go for hiring a personal vehicle uh, you, if you go for hiring a normal taxi your cost of your traveling is going to be more as compared to the schemes what uber is offering okay that is about value proposition next is your customer segments now we have already discussed what solution you are going to give to your customer now we are deciding the customer so you can either decide customer first value proposition next or either ways that doesn't matter now customer segments is basically drivers and passengers again here you are having full time job seekers you are having users who want to make money by driving extra income etc next passengers which type of passengers you will get you will have users who don't have vehicles with it, them so they will try to opt for uber then you will like to uh, those type of passengers will opt those who are normally haters who don't like the regular taxi taxi service okay so that is what you have seen in uh, all over the country the regular taxi service has totally vanished because the customer is to not like the service which was provided by the regular 
taxis that is how uber has taken over the regular taxi service okay then uh, you are having also an option for traveling to outstations foreign countries and so on next now this foreign country part is actually with the outside countries are huh? not in india in india you are having nowadays outstation ubers i hope i hope you must have seen that initially it was localized like in mumbai it was localized now you are also having outstation ubers next is the after deciding value proposition and customer segments you have to decide the channel through how you are going to reach to those customers first you have to make publicity you can make publicity of your product through web mobile app social media google adwords and so on okay once you have got the media channel source for publicizing your product next is the customer relationship you have to build your customer relationship you have to decide that you are trying to hold the customers so how is uber trying to hold the customers continuous feedback rating system is there so if any type of driver tries to get a low feedback then that driver is no more employed at uber okay he will be removed from the company and uh, they try to see that always the best service is offered to the customer next is the uber also tries to get customer relationship it tries to maintain through social media okay so to, on social media it tries to watch the reviews etc next what are the key activities you are going to perform to bring this uber into success you are going to have a simple web mobile app then you will have driver recruitments you will be drive, uh, recruiting drivers you will be having marketing activities etc next is the key resources what exactly you need to bring this into success you require a web mobile app to be developed you need software engineers you require drivers okay now you can see that there are many parameters which are common to the different blocks then you are having your revenue streams how you can generate more and more revenue you will give ride commissions now in this case subscription is not there in subscriptions you can have in uh, netflix and all ride commissions will be given you can have supporting products along with uber like uber x uber black suv etc okay next is the key partners last will be the cost structure key partners you will bring in investors to the uber okay so you can also have the advertising companies which can act as key partners to uber because you are advertising their product on your car okay next is the cost structure to find the cost structure you all these parameters are there payroll for the drivers the marketing cost the web and mobile app development all this three parameters together taken will be the cost of uber next is about netflix now in netflix is another example which is which was also a start which was which is actually a startup which has come in long back uh, you can see here that it is there from 1990s actually which has originating and then from 2013 onwards they have kept on making innovations netflix is not a recent one it was actually in 1990s where it was originally in the form of cd dvd selling and subscriptions then it was online subscription and then product replacement and so on now for netflix again if you try to decide this discuss about this case study it is the customer segment who are your customers obviously the people who are watching movies web series tv shows etc and this is the most benefit what you can get is you can watch at any time okay you don't have to be live only at that particular time to watch that particular web series and so on next is your uh, after a uh, value proposition will be the first one what are the different benefits what exactly you are providing through netflix 24 by 7 streaming no ads 4k videos then netflix originals 30 day trial you can cancel it any time ai recommendation is there and so on then you are having channels how you are going to reach to your customer website mobile app tv game console mail cd dvd was the original one whatever i have highlighted in yellow it is the original in uh, in 1990s okay now this what is highlighted in yellow is not there okay then uh, after the channels how you are going to continuously maintain your customer relationship different offers are given to you all you are given gift cards self service 
online chat will be there continuous social media and so on then uh, the key resources mainly it is the software development you are having the r and d de department with it which is continuously working with its ai algorithm then you are having the key activities you are you need to maintain and expand the production licensing work has to be maintained you have to retain the customer and so on and then there are different key partners which are there with the netflix smart tv companies gaming console companies google amazon tv network companies and so on and the last is the cost structure all these parameters will define the final cost structure of the netflix i have taken another two examples also but uh, only one more thing i just wanted to tell about google uh, other parameters i will not discuss about the customer segments in google there are three customer segments in google one is your search user that is you who is searching using their search engine next is the content owner who is putting different contents and the advertiser now in this case actually the search user and the content owners they get it for free okay you are getting google for free are you paying for google no you are getting it for free how the advertisers are the one which are bringing in capital inside google they are the one who are actually providing the revenue stream to the google main is the advertiser and one more example what i told you is the original manufacturing companies like mobile phones etc they have also tied up where uh, on google when you search their products are available and in turn what google provides to them google is providing to them the operating system okay so innovative business models may unlock new opportunities or un or enable things that were not possible with the traditional models this is what i want to say so in business models also you have to keep refining your business model and once you have made this chart in the start once you have decided and made this chart you have to continuously be testing each and every block of yours whether it is really working okay you cannot say that this is the final one you have to keep refining your business model canvas so this business model canvas is also one of the most important parameter when you will be going and pitching in for your product okay when you will be pitching for your product they always would like to see what is your business model canvas whether you have gone in a planned way okay that's all anything else you want to know any questions any question no. have you all understood no. sahil sahil shalaka डाउट ये कॉम्स ए से मतलब बी से ये कॉम्स बी ली ले ते हेडिंग ये कॉम्स ए से इत मुला कोणाच आहे मिनी प्रोजेक्ट मिनी प्रोजेक्ट थर्ड सेमेस्टर में एसी कंप्यूटर बी हे इथे कॉम्स बी ली ले पण मी माझी नाही आहे मग हे पाचवी ची आहे ना हो मग तुझी शिट कुठे मग तिने तिने परत पाठवली हो पाचवी ने आता केवळ ए ची नाही मी देते तुम्हाला माझी शिट दुपारी सॉरी आय लॉस्ट माय कनेक्शन ओके शला काय वाज आस्किंग यू डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड शला का यस मैम आई अंडरस्टूड इज दिस प्रेजेंटेड इन द पिच 
during the uh, is the is the business canvas also presented yes yes during pitching also you need to present it like uh, now all of my project teams whoever are present here i would like you all to make the business model con canvas sir huh? yes ma'am yes ma'am yes. and yes, you have to submit to me because i hope you know these all participants are going to get an internship certificate from us for okay, attending all the sessions and in otherwise also it is going to benefit you all okay yes this, yeah swati ma'am yes yes i hope everyone have enjoyed and understood and they are going to use this in their applications yes ma'am Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So one thing, it is definitely going to benefit you all because now you will be prepared for pitching in in the idea competition and further also if you think of become an entrepreneur, you want to have your own startup. This is going to help you all. Okay. So this is act. See, normally you just don't go and develop a product and launch it. It has to go in a method methodical way. so that is how actually when you keep this chart in front of you always now you try to understand whether you are missing something and whether you have to refine it again all these parameters will continuously make you providing this information and you are aware about it and you try to bring in more innovations into it okay yeah swati ma'am you have anything yes. to say uh so like uh, you must have understood we have to be empathetic we have to be creative and identify here and there then we can being empathetic we can identify a customer after identifying the customer uh, if you have identified the problem we uh, have to do the ideation get some ideas to solve this problem identify the proper uh, you you need to have many many ideas and then you can remove the ideas which are not feasible and proper and then initially you should have many ideas it should be quantity can be more but uh, after that with brainstorming and all you can go on removing the idea and you can finalize uh, your idea and uh, then do the design thinking part like create a small prototype define your problem create a small prototype show the prototype to the end user which is not expensive and you are not spending time on preparing the prototype but uh, show to the customer get the feedback and go on refining and refining and then once uh, you freeze everything uh, again but we have to use the agile model methodology uh, so then you start manufacturing the product or preparing the product uh, so you have to do the survey and questionnaire a lot to finally identify and come up with the Mm, on the final products yeah. problem statement and solution and then at the same time you you can have a plan and business model canvas in front of you uh, so that you know your customer and you know how you are going to uh, do everything uh, okay so so you don't miss and you don't uh, there are less chances of failures in that case okay also <laughs> this saying you can see your prototyping is the conversation you are having with your ideas always so it is not like you have developed your product once and have forgotten about it it is like continuously you are trying to bring in innovation into your product so it is like you are having a conversation with your ideas okay okay yes ma'am okay yeah anyone having any other doubts all my uh, project groups whoever are present here uh, and in addition to shalaka has proposed anything ma'am no ma'am not yet i'll i'll participate in the uh, idea contest okay uh so before that whenever you have any idea or if you have something in your mind you can just contact us or uh, you can find out even the other partners for you sure okay we can stop ma yeah. yes yeah. thank you to all for uh, patiently listening to me and hoping to see you all in all the sessions yes ma'am thank you much yeah thank you thank you ma'am thank you yeah thank you ma'am yeah. you can leave now yeah.